I really wasn't sure how to start this video off because looking at this plane, it might leave some of you speechless. Where'd the rest of the plane go? <laughs> But I will say we've been blessed on this late February day with beautiful weather to get out and come fly this brand new SUS or Slow Ultra Stick. This is the newest plane by E-Flight and though it might be ugly, I've been told it's capable. And some of us guys out there can relate to that statement. This is an airplane that comes in under $200 bind and fly. And if those of you that are out there that want to find this for plug and play, I highly recommend you buy the bind and fly. Take out that $85 receiver, sell it on eBay for $50, and now you have $150 plug and play super ugly little airplane. This is a 2S or 3S capable plane with safe and AS3X. I put it together in literally about 10 minutes. Things snap and click together. And there are some thumb screw mounts back here at my thumb here on each side of the wing holding that on. Same with the rear stabilizer system. There's a thumb screw there. This thing was extremely easy to put together. So some of you guys are gonna find the appeal to this visually, others may not. And I'm guessing it's gonna be super fun to fly. So let's put it in the air and see how it does. This will be linked in the description box below for those of you that like supporting our goofy, family-friendly RC channel. And if you like this content and you're not up for buying this, maybe just hit the like button. We'll kind of sit back and enjoy this maiden together. You know how we do on our channel. We give real, honest maidens. We've got a little wind, so that was the wind picking that wing up. Um, I have been told that this could be and is basically kind of marketed toward a person's second or third, fourth, fifth, six hundredth airplane. Maybe not necessarily designed to be your first. I don't think they necessarily wanted to set this up as a trainer, but I wanna tell you right now, with the simplicity of this airplane, it would make a great trainer if you wanted to bind it up to a universal radio. However, it will bind up to, I think it's called the DXE. What's the most basic spectrum transmitter that comes with the Aero Scout? Something like that. Something like that. The one that comes with the Aero Scout, this will bind right up to because it's got throttle, elevator, rudder, aileron, and then your safe switch. So you can easily make this be a second airplane if you bought something like the Apprentice or the Aero Scout as your first. So here we all go. We're doing our nice left hand turns. I'm keeping it low and slow and about third to half throttle. And it makes this is all in safe. This is hands free right here with some wind knocking me around some that is completely hands free coming at us and it's flying extremely well. Uh, safe is really awesome with this because it's a nice slow little flyer. That is what makes it great to be a trainer plane. But I think with 3S in here now, it should be really capable when we kick safe off. So let's go safe off. Yeah, this is awesome. Okay, so cool. I don't have a lot of rudder authority on that hammer over. It looked also, like you did. I did once I once I got <laughs> it to nose over, but I think that was mostly gravity helping oh, me do okay. that. I'm guessing we'll have pretty good aileron roll. Yeah, that's nice. Wow. And yeah, once I have movement, the rudder works well, but with no movement, it didn't give a lot of, see there's full left with throttle. So you gotta have some movement. It does work, but the, the roll rate is nice. This is already feeling really good. I like this a lot. Some guys are gonna hate on this just because of the way it looks, but in my opinion, it's kind of a strong throwback to the days of old when you just had uh, usually elevator and rudder, if that, a lot of times just rudder and throttle control on your glow stick airplane. You know, it'd be a simple kit to put something in the air as quickly and cheaply as possible. So, as I said, for $200 to come with all the electronics, it'll fly on a 2S or 3S battery. This in today's market, and in general, is pretty cheap. When I, when I learned to fly, I was buying some electric planes with my dad that were $200, $250, $300 for a ready-to-fly setup and I would blow fuses and break parts and the foam was flimsy back then. They've come a long way. And so I, I really like this $200 price point. If you like the plug and play and you don't wanna fly Spectrum, as I said in the beginning, you can yank that receiver out and should be able to sell it on eBay or somewhere like that for at least, at least 40, 50, maybe $60, depending when you sell it. This is nice. I'm just gonna like crank it and have some fun. Will it snap? Yeah, it snaps. <laughs> That's cool. It's got pretty nice rudder authority. This is a really, really fun, goofy looking 
but fun airplane. I like the way it looks. You know, I like the Aeroscout. I'm the guy that likes the different looking, fun yeah. flying airplane. I don't want looks. 200 like. airplanes that look the same, do you? No. Ugh. So cool. I was listening to our radio chatter to make sure we didn't have any pilots wanting to fly in our space here. Now remember, this will fly on something small and cheap like a 2S, maybe even a 1300 milliamp battery, and you should get really long flight times on that. Let's see if we can do a box roll here. Up, back, down, and level it off, hopefully in time. That's not bad for a first try. And, and you have not flown in over a month, I believe. Something like I that. I think that is correct. <laughs> So, <laughs> this is real time. Kind of maternity leave. Um, <laughs> but not really. We still work more. every single day. That's right. Just well, haven't had to film. <laughs> yes, we've had pre filmed content. What would we have? Some ground vehicles we did. So, it has been a while since I have flown. Let's see if we'll hold up. Oh, yeah, this is inverted. Really Ooh. nice. Okay, that's great. It's a nice, slow, floating. <laughs> looks like flight. a kite. It doesn't take up much room to keep in the air. Okay, I got to roll out of that because that Woo! was. Cool. The, the wind, wind picked up with the wind i didn't have much control over it so i had to knock that back over real fast <laughs> so this is a very like strong second intermediate style airplane it's fairly sporty we'll give you guys a full throttle pass here in just a second let's go here's full throttle nose into the wind oh that was close. <laughs> as you can see we're not going to get a lot of crazy stuff happening here we'll come back down this way nose into the wind full throttle pretty fast that wow. way. Wow. Let's snap it up here. At the top of that. That's really pretty. I like that a lot. That's a great flying airplane. Which is crazy to see a stick with a wing and just a couple <laughs> flat surfaces on the back. You could probably do without those wheels maybe, but I kind of like it with the wheels. They're nice and big. We could probably we probably could do a grass landing and take off here in a really tall grass, but I may not try that. I don't know. To those of you that don't know what safe is, if you're looking at this plane thinking there's no way I could fly that like you, Nate, check this out. We can fly up, snap it, even full throttle or zero throttle. I turn safe on and it just levels it right off. I, That's just amazing technology to help keep your plane in the air. That wasn't me that saved it, that was flipping a switch. We'll turn that switch back off. Can still fly nice and level, but then if you want to, you can just do some wild, fun little maneuvers like this. So what battery is in this? Yeah, so good question. This is a 3S 2200 milliamp. We probably could fly for like 45 minutes on this if I wasn't flying it like this. Maybe realistically 20 to 25 minutes. Wow. If I was out just gliding, trying to get the longest flight possible, maybe about 45 minutes. And is this uh, all spectrum smarted? Spectrum smarted. With uh, telemetry? No, I think we have telemetry. That's oh. one feature we don't have on this. Ooh, I love those. It's a nice slow floaty airplane. I wonder I can if we tell. can actually like maybe hover this? Possibly. If they we would just have, have mounted the prop in the back of the motor, it would be like an Aero Scout to me. No, I just don't have enough <laughs> rudder authority to really, really be confident in myself to uh, hover it, but I guarantee in the right hands this could be a hovering capable airplane as well. This thing is really wild. I think my battery is feeling a little low. Let's see. <laughs> it's feeling a little low, so we're going to bring it in for a landing. And uh, we'll call that a very, very fun, successful maiden with the way we were flying that. And that's my oldest 3S battery I have with like hundreds of flights on it too. So it's feeling a little bit on the low end of things. Look at that guys. What an ugly airplane. Kind of, kind of makes me think of the Aero Scout because people call that an ugly plane too. But uh, fun. This is a really fun and I actually like the way it looks airplane. We have a steerable wheel on the back there too. I should point that out. It taxis extremely well on the ground. I don't think I had a loss of power there. I'm not really sure why it felt like it was low, it was something in my head probably, but that's long enough for a maiden to get a good feel for this airplane. Check out the control surfaces while I'm down here. You know, there's a lot going on, but still not quite enough to knife edge in my opinion. It's just not big enough although the roll rate of this airplane is great and we could increase the rate some that's uh this is just standard at 100 percent. i haven't increased anything i do have expo in this i think i went with 20 percent on the aileron and 10 or 15 on the rear something like that here's with safe on so it really reduces that rate quite a bit um I, and i haven't messed with anything else like throttle curve or anything i did just throw expo in there and i like to have safe on my h 
switch. It's just a more comfortable switch for me to put that. And just so you guys can see really closely here where I've got my battery, I recommend the 3S2200. It's still a cheap, affordable battery. You can put a 2S on there and fly really well. But today for me, having that 3S22, it's basically snug up against that little motor mount there. It's a very simple airplane. Not to be confused with the Ultrix in any way, shape, or form. That Ultrix is a whole different beast. Are you, are you talking about the Ultrix or the Night Vapor? Well, Abby pointed out that she thought this reminded her of the Night Vapor. I think that's and, what it's called. Yeah, that's The little true. butterfly one. It's a little stick fuselage airplane yeah. with uh, with some control surfaces getting it in the air. Yeah. But I like the, uh, the Ultrix a lot, too. Now, that plane, for me, it's kind of like get the night vapor although that's a very delicate airplane it's I thought the ultrix is like a pancake the ultrix is a pancake it's <laughs> super 3d yeah and, and so i know that this has like that stick kind of form factor going don't confuse the two because i'd say the ultrix although a beginner can fly and safe it's a little bit more advanced um or to those of you that want to advance friendly whereas the sus which by the way i hate uh, new kids lingo like suspicious sus that's what we can call this the sus gives me finally a reason to like that word sus <laughs> this plane is absolutely if you like the way it looks an amazing second third fourth fifth sixth seventh hundredth airplane if you'd like but uh to those of you that have the air scout or a trainer plane under your belt I'm going to highly recommend you pick one of these up and we'll see this more on the channel, hopefully. Now, a lot of beginners are going to be watching this video, at least I hope so. People that are just getting into the hobby and maybe looking at their first, second, third airplane. And I'm going to recommend that as fun as this is, and I know this is foam and it's just a little stick, you'd be greatly benefited to fly with AMA. It's the Academy of Model Aeronautics. It's an insurance program that keeps you safe while you're flying. As long as you're not flying recklessly and you're following their rules and guidelines they recommend on their website, you can even reach out to them to make sure you're flying safe if you have any questions once you're a member. Uh, you're going to be covered if any accidents were to happen. So we'll have the AMA, the Academy of Model Aeronautics, linked in the description box below right next to this airplane where you can pick it up and it supports our channel at no extra cost to you. Well, I like this plane a lot, Abby. I think you're eventually going to have to fly this. It's so. really not too intimidating at all. It flies nice and slow. It's got a big profile. Where'd and, it go? Yeah, you're not going to get confused by orientation for a couple reasons. That sleek profile and the rudder sticking up makes it very easy to see orientation, nice bright colors and big bold lines, and a completely different pattern on the bottom wing. They really had the beginner in mind when they made this, but also it's way more fun to fly than the Apprentice, for example. That thing, I'd rather have one of these than 10 Apprentices. <laughs> Wait, why didn't they make the stickers follow these pretty lines? I feel like you should take a marker and make that pretty. I suppose I could do that. You know why I <laughs> it think- It looks like a sunburst. I think they did this so that if a person wanted to put lights in here, they're already embedded. Oh, okay. And then it's got a that really would look cool pretty. pattern. Yeah, could you imagine some LEDs following those yeah, lines? Yeah, because look, look at the back. There's a couple on the back like that too. That may have been the intention there. Well, no. Uh, there's a, it's almost I like, like it a little cavity for the wire to run. Well guys, again, this will be linked in the description box below. It really does help support our channel massively when you use that link. The great thing about that too is that they have a point system on their website. So if you have an account on their website, every time you buy something, you earn points, which turns into money that you can use on your next purchase. And it's the one of the best ways to support our channel. A lot of you guys watching do support us, but occasionally forget that uh, that's a great way to support us. So I just want to remind you and say thank you for those of you that do think about us when you're buying your RCs and watching us on YouTube. For today and getting out to enjoy this amazing hobby together, my wife and I, and sharing it with all you guys, I want to say a massive thanks to God. And a huge thanks to our Patreon supporters because that is really the most direct way to support our channel. And a lot of you guys do, and we're very grateful for it. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts. This reminds me, as Abby said, like the Aero Scout and the Altrix and the, <laughs> I don't know, it's just like a combination of some really cool planes out there. So what we'll do is link one of our favorite planes to fly popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.